Hello everyone, welcome to this particular video by Talent Battle. In this particular video, we are going to discuss step-by-step -step registration process for engineering campus hiring program for the 2024 batch students. Okay, so as of you, all of you know that uh, Goldman Sachs has launched its campus hiring program for 2024 batch students and they are hiring for uh, internship roles. And uh, we had previously made one live session wherein we have given you detailed information about it. So if you have not attended that live session, uh, the link for that session is in the description of this video. So you can watch that. Currently in this video, I'm going to discuss step-by-step -step registration process. Okay. So once you click on the link given by me in the description of this particular video, you'll land up on this particular page, which is the official website of Goldman Sachs. So here you can just scroll down. Don't click on this apply now. Just scroll down guys. Okay. So here you will find this particular register button. Okay. So click on this register button. Also one more thing. There is one FAQ document which Goldman Sachs has created. So if you have any particular uh, questions, uh, you can go through this FAQ document and a lot of your queries will get cleared. If your queries are not cleared from this FAQ document, you can comment on this video with your query and we'll try to answer that particular query. So uh, before we proceed, Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and press that like button, press the bell icon. So whenever we'll upload new videos, you'll come to know. Uh, the aptitude test for Goldman Sachs is in December first week. So before that, we will be uploading a lot of free videos on YouTube as well, which will help you to prepare for the first test of Goldman Sachs. Okay. So click on subscribe, click on bell icon and like this particular video as well. Okay. So let us start now. Uh, click on register. Okay. Now you'll get to this particular page. Now, uh, if you already have an account, you can log in or for most of the students, I don't think you will be having any account on Goldman Sachs because uh, this is the first opportunity brought in by Goldman Sachs basically for the 2024 batch students. Okay, so click on create new account. Okay, so here you need to put your first name, last name, email ID, confirm your email ID again, choose a password, confirm password, click on I am not a robot, uh, I acknowledge and submit on and click on submit registration. Okay. So let me just do it and I'll take you to the next page. So once you click on submit registration, you will get on this particular page. So thank you for considering a career at Goldman Sachs. To begin your application, select one of our programs here. So click here. Okay. So you have to select this first one, Summer Analyst. Okay. Okay. Now just click on apply. Now, this is very, very important guys. Okay. So in the FAQ document, just check here what all the things they have mentioned. Okay. Once you have reached the start of the official application, please ensure you only select the below position preference options to ensure your registration is captured. This is very important because if you don't do this registration properly, you will not get the aptitude test link. Okay. So what they have told you have to select recruiting year should be 2023. Okay, so recruiting year will be 2023. What position you are applying? Summer internship. So select summer internship. Okay, then what program you are applying? Summer analyst. Okay, so select summer analyst. Okay, now just scroll down. Now this is very important. Okay, please select the location. So location what they have told, select location Bangalore. Don't select Hyderabad. Okay, so you have to select Bangalore. Please select a division. So what division you have to select? Engineering Campus Hiring Program. Okay. Engineering Campus Hiring Program. Okay. Please select a subdivision. So you have to select a subdivision general. So select general. Okay. Now, one more important thing. Please do not click on add another option given. Okay. So don't click over here. Okay. Just move down. And please select the rest of the options that are applicable to you and do not forget to save and continue. Complete the rest of the application with any test details and submit. So let us do that now. Are you legally authorized to work in India? Yes. Will you now or in future require sponsorship for employment visa status? No. Uh, if you're Indian citizen, you don't require this. Do you have any plan to study abroad this academic year? No month and year you are available to start so if you are available from maybe may or april you can enter that so i'll enter april click on save and continue now you have to fill so now this is the progress tracker 
so currently we have filled in the position preference now we have to fill the contact information so uh, title i'll select mr okay so here first name middle name last name what is your preferred name please put that uh, do you have any other names you can all enter that okay so your primary email country uh, okay uh, so you have to enter your address postal town city so enter all of this and click on save and continue okay so once you submit those details next is education so university you have to select if your college name is not uh, available just click on just type other and click other okay so if you want your university to be added you can just send an email but there is a other option as well so no issue expected graduation date you can put so you can maybe if you graduating in 2024 may so i'll just enter this particular date next year uh, you have to enter your country of study currently so it will be india okay now you have to select your grading system so if your college grading system is uh, suppose a b c grades you can select that if it is gpa or percentage out of 100 select this if it is out of 10 out of 4.3 out of 4 so all other options are given over here so i'll select percentage over here and here you need to select your marks okay now this is the cumulative or the average uh, till now okay so you can enter your average major gpa that is not a mandatory field so we can currently uh, omit that uh, so degree category it will be bachelor's degree will be here uh, b tech or be okay so if i enter b tech okay title of course so major subject oh okay, here i'll select suppose engineering okay engineering suppose if i go with electrical and electronics okay uh this is not mandatory degree 2 is not mandatory so i can click on save and continue okay now skills and qualifications so here you need to enter your language skills uh which language you can select any particular language i think even hindi will be there uh marathi is there english is there tamil is there so you can enter the languages you know if you want to enter multiple languages you can click on add another uh your spoken proficiency whether you are fluent moderate basic do that or written proficiency also you can enter now technical skills are also mentioned see uh which technical skills you currently have whether you know anything about big data machine learning c sharp c c++ data networking html so there are a lot of technologies which they have mentioned uh, it is not necessary you enter just one okay if you know have basic knowledge so suppose i have got basic knowledge of maybe big data or machine learning you can select that and click on basic so it is not mandatory that you become you have to be expert in that particular technical skill so you can click on add another and you can add another uh, technical skill as well okay so you can add as many as me you want but i would ref, uh, ask you to put at least uh, two to three that would be sufficient if you are put those where you are strong at and it will help you a lot during your interview okay so enter all of this and then you can click on save and continue okay so once i click on save and continue here i have some got some uh, disclosures which i have to make have you previously interned or worked at goldman sachs no are you a current for former intern of price waterhouse coopers this will be no uh, do you currently hold or ever hold position with government entity this will be no okay do you have a immediate family member who within fast year fast 5 years has held a governmental entity this will be no suppose okay or uh, do you have immediate family members or any other relation that could give rise to an personal conflict of interest no okay self identification enter your gender uh so can enter if you don't wish to uh, tell that is also mentioned okay please and indicate your ethnic city or race so that will be asian so everywhere they have uh, just given a option whether you can prefer not to say as well okay so ethnicity or race asian or uh, if you want to enter asian indian or uh, military experience no disability uh, no are you the first generation in your family immediate family to attend university no or you can even prefer not to say so it, this is totally personal questions which you want if you want you can answer or you can prefer not to say so click on save and continue okay so here you have to upload the resume over here okay but before that are you a member of any of these programs so if you are member of any of these programs you can select otherwise most of them you need not select because those are not mandatory fields so while uploading resume or cv just check recommended file type is pdf and it should be less than 512 kb okay so it should not be password protected it should be portrait okay 
they have also given some helpful tips on resume and cv writing practices and hints about what we look while reviewing an applicant's resume so you can just click there okay so you can just check here guys the resume whatever formats or required uh, details you can just go through that okay so this is very important while you upload the resume for goldman sachs here there is an option to upload the resume okay so once you upload the resume click on save and continue now we are on the last part that is declaration i agree with the terms and i have to click on submit now this will take some time so just wait do not click again and again okay so as you can check i have clicked on submit once but it is not immediately submitting so just wait for maybe 30 seconds 40 seconds and we'll also wait okay so you will understand like how much time it is taking so i think it took hardly 20 25 seconds so current status is application received thank you for applying now once you apply you will also get a mail that you have applied but later on you will get the mail about aptitude test so thank you guys for watching this video till the end if you are like the way we are helping you out with such opportunities make sure you like this video subscribe to our youtube channel press the bell icon for instant notifications also the link to our instagram page is given in the description of this particular video join our instagram page for 2024 batch so that you get a lot of updates preparation tips okay and if you are interested to prepare for placement completely then you can join our complete placement preparation live master class which is a paid course but uh, one course has it all so you can prepare for aptitude coding dsa dbms computer networks all of those courses uh you can do around 20 25 projects based on programming languages and latest technologies learn latest technologies like data science ai ml full stack okay one to one mock interviews are conducted so uh more than 30 plus companies preparation material is included so once you purchase that particular course you need not refer to any other website so the link for that is also there in the description of this video so thank you once again for watching it and see you all in the next video